plan. Hello, supermodels. Max Emerson, aka Maxism, is here to talk to you about something very important. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. Right now, I want to talk about homeless LGBT youth. Guys, we've won the fight in the U.S. for marriage equality and are equal under the eyes of the law, but still 40% of homeless people aged 16 to 26 identify as LGB and or T. LGBT youth are eight times more likely to end up homeless. They get kicked out of their homes or even leave on their own because they can't take any more abuse. They end up in places like New York City, Los Angeles, London. Without a safe place to stay, they often get robbed on their very first week. The majority take drugs like meth as a defensive just to stay awake at night. And a lot of these kids are forced into prostitution for something as simple as a safe place to sleep. Currently, I've constructed a project that can both bring to light this issue and raise money to support organizations currently working for this cause. Gathering what I've learned through my research on this subject, I've written a script for a film called Hooked. Now it's time for a little more math. Since the film will take place between New York City and Miami, it's going to cost at least $150,000. It's not cheap, but it's a story that needs to be told and don't expect Disney to be bankrolling a project like this anytime soon. Here's a basic budget breakdown. Our biggest production costs are going to be transportation, location, hotels, and crew. It's going to be done under a SAG ultra low budget contract and cost at least $100,000. We'll need a minimum of $50,000 for post-production, editing, color, effects, festival submission, distribution, and incentive fulfillment. You may be thinking, this movie sounds great and possibly even a little sexy in that weird Maxism sort of way, but how can making a film about homeless kids possibly help the ones who are out on the street? Well, my fellow supermodel, this is the exact reason I'm crowdsourcing this project. Rather than seeking a private investor, 50% of the profits of this film will be donated to several causes whose goal is to end LGBT youth homelessness and abuse. What's more, you can even specify which of our selected organizations you'd like your share of the profits to benefit. I know you guys are totally in it for the cause and don't need any incentives, but we have some anyways. For $10, you get a digital copy of the film and a special thanks in the credits. For $50, you get invited to the opening night screening. At $150, you get a signed DVD and your very own devil hoodie. Six months before I begin selling them to the general population. For $500, I will make a video just for you, saying pretty much anything that you want. Keeping with our theme, for $1,000, I'll send you a pair of my underpants, complete with a Polaroid of me wearing that exact pair. I'll even include a personalized love note, which you can use to make your ex-boyfriend jealous. For $5,000, I will show up to anywhere in the world and bartend your party shirtless. $25,000 will get you all of the above, except that lunch is now a dinner, and you'll be featured in a picture on my Instagram. If you have the means and motivation to give $50,000, you'll officially be an executive producer. I'll come to anywhere in the world that you are, take you to dinner, and even invite you to set where you can give notes on how you think the production should go. There's only one slot for this available, but for $100,000, you're our angel investor. You get all of the aforementioned incentives, plus the entire film will be dedicated to you or whoever you want. And what's more, I, Max Emerson, male underpants supermodel, will be your personal trainer for two months, or I will even give you a massage. Max. What are you doing? Oh, hey guys, it's Todrick Hall. I'm trying to have a positive moral compass without being all up my own ass about it. Okay, well, that's cool, but let's work on the second part. And you're offering to give people a massage. Like, what are you, an escort now, or what's going on? No, man, I just, I really want to get this project off the ground, and I'm willing to take one for the team. Okay, well, you're coming off a bit desperate. Okay, how about instead of the, the personal training massage thing, whoever donates $100,000 gets a walk-on role in the film. That's better. But look, what you're trying to do is a very large project and a very serious issue. If people are gonna gamble their money on you, they need to see why you're doing this. I know it's a stretch, but you need to cut the stick and speak from the heart. Show them what it is that's so important to you about this project. Open up, try to be vulnerable for once. That's a really good idea. Thanks. Thank you. And maybe put a shirt on. You should put the shirt on before you show them that you're vulnerable. Because we've seen it, we've seen it. You know, we know you're, we, we get it, you go to the gym, okay, Max? All right, good luck, buddy. Bye. Okay, folks, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go put some clothes on real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Goss. We'll be singing an original song we wrote called Not Enough. Not a 
so much for watching. Anything that you can do to help get this project off the ground would be greatly appreciated. Please contribute what you can and share this with your friends. We're going to help a lot of people in our own backyard.